talk movement exercise for optimizing testosterone. First of all, the, the first thing you need to understand is one big difference that I like to make here, which is the difference between moving and exercise. Both are going to be critical for testosterone production and management. Movement means activities of daily living, primarily walking, not power walking, not fast walking, not huffing and puffing walking, but slow, relaxing movement. Two of the major hormones that will interfere with testosterone production are insulin and cortisol. Walking is one of the best ways to sensitize the body to insulin and lower cortisol levels. Too often, men will just stick to the weight training and will forget to do the cortisol lowering aspects and the insulin sensitizing aspects of movement and exercise. Obviously, both walking and weight training will sensitize the body to insulin levels, but at the same time, we really wanna make sure that we're reducing cortisol. Walking will be critical, so I encourage all of you guys to get between 5,000 and 10,000 steps per day. A good way to do this is to wear an activity monitor and just get your movement levels up. Now, the other thing that we want to understand is how do we use testosterone to build muscle and how do we exercise in a way to release testosterone? So let's talk about that really quickly. Most men, historically, most men and women and most of the exercising public will gravitate towards going for a run or going for a jog or doing long distance cardio and things like that. Now, there's nothing wrong with long distance cardio. Uh, this, there's a myth out there that long distance cardio will automatically reduce testosterone levels. That is true only in people who are doing ultra marathon runs and doing very, very long distance runs and using running as the sole means to lose weight and things like that. All that being said, running is fine as long as it's not overdone, but it's not going to be the best way to release testosterone. In fact, it may not do much to release testosterone at all for you. What is going to work and is very well studied and very well known is that resistance training using weights, dumbbells and barbells, and secondarily machines, pushing weight around, straining and burning in the muscle is what is going to produce the largest bursts in testosterone. This has been very well studied and very well documented. There are many different ways to go about resistance training, but the most studied protocol and the one that you're going to do best on is the five by five by 10 protocol, which essentially says five exercises. I recommend squat, deadlift, bench, shoulder press, and back row outlined here. Why? Because these are big, Full body movements works the whole body and we call these compound movements, which means it's working multiple muscle groups at once. You're going to get the greatest stimulus off of these. These are testosterone movers, meaning that these exercises are going to give you your biggest bang for your buck for testosterone. Five exercises, do five sets of each exercise and 10 repetitions of each exercise. Most people get this wrong because they'll do 10 repetitions and those will be e easy 10 repetitions. No, these 10 repetitions need to be what are known as a 10 rep max, which means by the time you get to that 10th rep, it's almost impossible to complete and you wouldn't have been able to get an 11th rep. That's what you wanna be doing, five by five by 10. This is the most optimal protocol for testosterone release. And technically you wanna be doing this anywhere from three to five times per week. You don't want to overdo it, but you want to make sure you're getting in plenty of resistance training along with this walking. Now, one of the things that I'll educate you about is the idea of are there other ways to raise testosterone levels as it regards to exercise? Yes, there is. As a matter of fact, there were two studies done by Beaven et al. in 2008 that it essentially showed that some of us men get a higher testosterone release from lighter weights and higher repetitions, while other of us men get a better response from higher weights and lower repetitions. And so some of us have this individual variability between whether we should be doing very heavy weights and low reps or very light weights and high reps. Well, the five by five by 10 protocol I just introduced you to is a nice sweet spot for all of us guys so that you don't have to necessarily worry about this. But if you wanna do your own experimentation on this, 
You certainly can. You may already know that you're a man who responds well to high repetition, low weight types of exercise versus people who do heavier weight and sort of lower rep exercises. Ultimately, the major mover of testosterone is volume. It's weight times sets times reps. And the reason why some people can get better results from the lighter, lighter weights is because they can just in, get better volume, whereas some guys can do better volume with higher weights. And so this is something to keep in mind, but the 5x5x10 five by five by protocol is going to be where most of you are going to want to live. And I can tell you right now that you're not going to get anything out of TRT therapy or not much if you're also not lifting weights. So you might as well not even attempt TRT therapy if you're not doing some degree of weight training along with it.